All of these things are just tips and tricks to help you calm yourself down. You can listen to them if you want to, or you can stay in your heightened, stressed, nervous, anxious state if you really want to. This is your world. You can do whatever it is that you want. Today, we're gonna talk about eight steps to relieve stress from your life. If you haven't noticed, there's a whole lot of shit that's happening in the world right now. So don't we all just need some practices to make sure that we can <sighs> relieve the stress from our lives? I think that we all do. And so today I'm gonna give you eight different techniques. Some of them you might've heard before, some of them you probably have never heard before. And I'm gonna try to help you out as much as I possibly can so that you can feel better. Because if you feel better, you know what you do? You go out and you kick some ass. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. I want you to feel better so that you can take action and create the life that you truly want. Because there's one thing that I do know. When you don't feel good, you don't take action. It's just hard to take action when you don't feel good. When you're stressed out, when you're anxious, it's really hard. And so we're gonna talk about these techniques to relieve daily stress that you have. You ready? Grab your pen and paper. Let's dive in. Number one is breathing. Simple breathing can help you relieve stress. There is a study that was done over in Japan not too long ago, and they found out that six deep conscious breaths will help you out and actually change your state completely. Let me explain why this is, because I don't know if I've actually dove into the actual science behind it. You breathe in through your nose, you breathe out through your mouth, and when you breathe out through your mouth, instead of just going like that, you act like you're breathing through a straw. So it's more like and you try to make your out breath as long as you possibly can. A couple of reasons why, number one, number one, when you breathe in through your nose, you, you get about three times more nitrogen inside of your bloodstream. That's a beautiful thing, number one. Number two, when you breathe out, like you're breathing out through a soda straw. When you breathe out slow, it actually slows your heart rate down. So if you're in a very stressful, anxious state, your heart's gonna be boom, 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 boom. What you wanna do is you wanna calm your body down. And the way to do it, to calm your heart rate down, to slow your heart rate down, the fastest way to do it. They do not know of another way that's faster than breathing like this to slow your heart rate down. You slowly breathe out like you're breathing through a straw. So it's just in through the nose out through the mouth. As long as you possibly can. Six deep breaths, if you can do more. This maybe takes to do six really deep conscious breaths, maybe a minute, maybe a minute and a half. It will completely change your state. If you can do 10 breaths, if you can do 20 breaths, it's even better, but at least six, not three, not five, not four, six. Okay, so six deep conscious breaths. Second thing, as you're doing this breathing, if you want to really add fuel to the fire of relieving your stress, or maybe that would actually be putting out the fire of your stress would be even better. So you want to put some water on top of your fire of that stress. As you're breathing, think about one thing that you can be grateful for. Anything. It could be a person. It could be a moment in your life. It could be the fact that you have air conditioning inside of your house because my air conditioning is out right now and the AC guy is going to be here in about 45 minutes and it's hot as shit inside of this room, but I don't have, I can't be grateful for it right now, but I will be grateful for it in about 45 minutes when he comes and fixes it, right? So maybe it's that you have AC, maybe it's that the sun is shining today and it's not rainy anymore, right? What is it that you can be grateful for? There's something that you can be grateful for. So the reason why I say this is because what you focus on grows. If you're stressed out, I guarantee you're focusing on sh- that's stressing you out. So if you focus on that stresses you out, guess what you're going to be? More stressed. So if I want to change my state, I've got to change my breathing, first off. And number two, I've got to change my focus. And I'm going to start thinking about one thing that I can be grateful for. Holy I had breakfast today. So many people didn't have breakfast today. Holy crap, I woke up today. 150,000 people died yesterday. That's pretty average. 150,000 people die a day. What? That's nuts. And you're still sitting here breathing, taking in this sweet ass oxygen that's around you. You can breathe. I mean, that's a, there's so many amazing things that you can really be conscious of when you allow yourself to be conscious. So we're trying to shift your body. Then we're trying to shift your thoughts and we're shifting your thoughts through 
going to gratitude. So what can you be grateful for as you're doing this breathing? Next thing, number three, this is actually really interesting. Go for a walk, not to just go for a walk and get your mind out of things, but there's actually studies that's done. I wish I could remember it, but I heard a uh, neurobiologist talk about it. Andrew Huberman, he was talking about when you go for a walk in the actual movement, when you're looking forward. So if you just take your dog for a walk in the morning, the movement of looking forward and things passing by your eyes on the peripheral vision actually calms your nervous system down. And so if you feel stressed, that's why a lot of people, when they say, oh, I go for a walk in nature, I feel so much better. Well, because you're actually having trees pass you by in your peripheral vision. It could be out of nature. It could be just around your block. If you're taking your dog out for a walk, it could be you leave your office building and go for a walk down to the coffee shop, whatever it is, just the watching of stuff passing by, and you don't even have to consciously think about it, will calm your nervous system down. So there's your sympathetic nervous system and there's your parasympathetic nervous system. Even though sympathetic sounds like it would be the better nervous system, it's not. Sympathetic means that it's actually a heightened state. So your sympathetic nervous system, when you go for a walk and you start to see these things past your peripheral vision, starts to calm down and starts to turn on your parasympathetic nervous system, which is the calm side of it. So if you can go for a walk, and you can think about something that you're grateful for, and you can consciously breathe, it will help you out so much more. So go for a walk. You don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to have any destination. Just simply go for a walk and enjoy the fact that you got working legs, or you can breathe lungs in your, you breathe, breathe air inside of your lungs, or the fact that you woke up today. That's the next one, is to go for a walk. Number four is as you're doing this, listen, to very specific type of music that is calming music. There is music that is made that simply calms down the human nervous system as well. And you can find this music. There's actually a study that was done on a, a, a song and I'll tell you the name of the song. It's called Weightless by Marconi Union. There was a study that was done and found out that that is the most calming song ever created by humans. I don't know how they figured it out, but it's it works. I've been using it for years. I literally have a playlist on my Spotify that is just that song 10 times in a row. It's like an hour long of just that song. And if I feel like I've got a lot going on, I feel like I have stress, I put that song on. Another song that really calms me down that for years when I used to have my own office and I had a few hundred sales reps that were under me and it was just a lot that I had to deal with, with all of these sales reps and all of their stuff and you know, having assistants under me and having receptionists and having recruiting that was going on, all of that stuff, there were times when I would get extremely stressed and I would go into my office and I would put a song that is the Out of Africa theme song and I would put it in my headphones and I would just breathe deeply. So if you can actually go for a walk, if you can concentrate on what you're grateful for, if you can consciously breathe, and if you can listen to music that calms you, all of these things are just tips and tricks to help you calm yourself down. You can listen to them if you want to, or you can stay in your heightened, stressed, nervous, anxious state if you really want to, but you're fully in control of it, which is what's amazing. So listen to music that's calming. Start, turn off the, the hardcore death metal or turn off the EDM that's so fast. I'm not saying those, song, those are bad, I like both of them, but there are certain times and places. If I'm feeling stressed, the last thing that I wanna do is put on Pantera and you know just jam to that it's going to make me feel more stress i'm going to put on music that is going to actually scientifically proven to slow me down and uh, allow me to calm down you breathe slowly you go you focus on what you're grateful for you go for a walk and you put on a calming song next thing that you can do is write it down what's really crazy about this is a lot of stuff that's stressing you out doesn't really matter that much and a lot of times the reason why it is so stressful for you is because it's not on a piece of paper when something is in your brain it seems very abstract. The, the, the way to get there and what to create is very hard to figure out when it's not on a piece of paper and you're trying to figure out inside of your brain. When you can put on a piece of paper, you can work through it and it becomes much easier. So take whatever it is that's really stressing you out and write it down on a piece of paper. Write down, this is really pissing me off right now. This is really stressing me out right now. And then ask yourself the question, what can I do to remove this stress that this is causing? Right? Maybe it's like, oh, I've got a deadline that's coming up for work. What can I do to remove the stress? Okay, maybe I can get someone on my team to help me with it. Maybe I can employ some virtual assistants to get this done quicker for me or to do the things that I don't need to do myself, whatever it is. And you actually start to take the things that are stressing you out. And what do you do? You take the things that are stressing you out and then you end up working through them of how to make yourself calm down, how to actually work through them. So much more simple when you can put it on a piece of paper. So put it on a piece of paper write it down and start to figure out what the solution is. The next one, 
you're probably not going to like this one, most of you guys, is to consider drinking less caffeine, less coffee, whatever it is you got to do. If you can get off of caffeine, your stress levels and anxiety levels will go down a ton. But if you can't, simply try to switch to green tea for a little while. Green tea still has caffeine, so you can still get a little bit of a caffeine kick. It also is processed differently by your body than coffee is, if coffee is what you normally drink. But instead of drinking five coffees, can you drink three? Can you drink two and then a couple green teas if you if you have to? So what caffeine does is caffeine will actually stir up the sympathetic nervous system, which is the part of your nervous system that stresses you out. So if you can have less caffeine, I promise you, you'll see your stress levels go down. You might be like, oh my God, my button productivity levels will go down as well. Well, I mean, if you wanna be stressed out all day long in order to be productive, you can choose to do that. This is your world. You can do whatever it is that you want. But if you wanna feel better and have less stress and have less anxiety, consider cutting caffeine out. The next thing is this. This is actually something that's really interesting. Get your blood levels checked. Eight weeks ago, I went and got my blood levels checked in this massive panel. It was like they took it felt like gallons of blood out of me and they did every single possible test that, that you could and it wasn't the cheapest thing in the world to do and you could do cheaper version of if you want to but what we found out is that besides my everything was great everything was amazing except for two things i was low in vitamin d i was low in vitamin b and my doctor gave me uh liquid supplements for both of them i take them in the morning on an empty stomach holy shit, i didn't know how different i could feel by doing that and i told my friends, I was like, I feel like a different human. Like I have massive amounts of energy and I'm way calmer with all of this massive amounts of energy simply because I didn't realize that I had deficiencies in vitamins that I needed inside of my body. And now I take it every single morning and I feel amazing. And so one thing that would be smart to do is go to a doctor, get your levels checked. If you're really stressed out, you might have different levels inside of your, you know, might be deficient in some vitamins. You have too much cortisol. You might have too much adrenaline going through your body and a doctor will be able to work through those things with you. So I do recommend checking it out. I would have never thought of this except for two months ago when I went and had this checked and how different I feel on a daily basis. So I recommend one thing you can actually try is going and getting your blood checked to see if there might be any deficiencies or any abnormalities that are inside of your blood that possibly, you know, working with a doctor could help. Another thing that you could do is you could watch 10 minutes of comedy, watch stand-up comedy, watch your favorite TV show, whatever it is. If you feel massive amounts of stress, watch five to 10 minutes of comedy. The reason why is because comedy and laughing releases dopamine into your body. Why is that a good thing? Because dopamine actually lowers the amount of cortisol that's inside of your blood. So if you're stressed out, cortisol is the stress hormone inside of your body. If you want to lower your stress hormone, your cortisol, dopamine will do that. Dopamine is released when you laugh out loud. And so if you watch something and truly enjoy it, you'll actually lower your levels of stress and cortisol simply from laughing because it releases dopamine. Knowing the neurobiology of how your brain works, wouldn't it be really good just to take 10 minutes every single day and to watch your favorite comedian or to watch your favorite TV show or something just for a few minutes whenever you're starting to feel stressed so that you can calm yourself down. Wouldn't it be an amazing idea? Take a five minute break, take a 10 minute break, watch a comedian, whatever it is that you have to do. Take 10 minutes of your time and watch something that's gonna make you laugh. Hang out, call a friend who's really funny that you know is gonna make you feel good. Cause that feel good is dopamine release being into your bloodstream and that, that dopamine being released into your bloodstream is going to lower your levels of cortisol, which means that you are not going to be stressed out simply because you are enjoying your life. How amazing is that? That's ridiculous. So the reason why I think this is important is because there's so much that's going on in the world right now one thing that I didn't put in here that I should put on this list, stop watching the news and unfollow as many people as you possibly can on Instagram that are not making you feel better. If someone's posting a lot of political sh posting a lot of scare tactics, they're posting a lot of stuff that doesn't make you feel good after you see it, unfollow them, stop watching the news, be in your own lane and work on yourself and getting yourself better. <sighs> that is what is super simple about it. But you are in charge of how you feel throughout the day, whether you realize it or not. With these tactics and these techniques, you can make yourself feel better. You can take control of your nervous system and you can allow yourself to get into a beautiful state so that you don't have to stay in a bad state all day long. And it's not hard, everybody. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to learn even more about mastering your mind, click right here and watch this video as well. If you have stress and anxiety, realize that it is normal. 